Hi, welcome back to UA Technical Solutions. In this tutorial, we will learn how to replace piston, piston rod, and slide valve for RC2 series screw compressor. Note, in case there is no adjustable table at job site, use a table that is capable of carrying the compressor. Dismantle oil separator. Step 1. Lift first the compressor and put it on the adjustable table and fix the two opposite base using screw bolt. Step 2. Dismantle the check valve, use a wrench to loosen the bolts and remove the check valve. Step 3. Install two eye bolts in the oil separator and hang it using a crane, then loosen all the bolts of the oil separator. Step 4. Take out the oil separator from the compressor. Dismantle piston, piston rod. Step 1. Loosen all the screw bolts of discharge cover plate then remove the cover plate. Step 2. Take out the disc spring and discharge bearing fixed ring. Step 3. Loosen the screw bolt of the piston and remove it. Step 4. Pull out the piston, piston spring, and copper washer. Step 5. Use a torque wrench to take out the piston rod. Dismantle bearing seat, slide valve. Step 1. Loosen the bolts of the bearing seat using a wrench. Step 2. Remove the 2-2 guide pin from the bearing seat. Step 3. Install two eye bolt in the bearing seat and lift the bearing seat slowly using an overhead crane. Step 4. Loosen the bolt of slide valve key using hexagonal wrench and take out the key. Step 5. Take out the slide valve. Assembly slide valve. Step 1. Use a file or grinding wheel to slightly clean the sharp edges of the slide valve. Step 2. Clean the oil circuits of the compressor casing using pressurized air. Step 3. Install the slide valve in the compressor casing. Make sure that the slide valve can be moved smoothly. Step 4. Put lock tight sealant on the bolt of the slide valve. Step 5. Install the slide valve key and tighten using a hexagonal wrench. Refer to index of this manual for screw bolts tightening torque settings. Step 6. Check again the slide valve if it can be moved smoothly. Assembly bearing seat. Step 1. Put lock tight sealant in the surface of the compressor casing. Be careful not to drop any amount of sealant inside the chamber. Step 2. Lift the bearing seat and install it carefully in the compressor casing. Step 3. Fix the guide pin on the two opposite sides of the bearing seat by hammering it. Step 4. Install all hexagonal screw bolts and tighten it using a torque wrench or hexagonal wrench. Assembly piston rod. Step 1. Put lock tight sealant on piston rod screw and install it in the slide valve using a torque wrench with a torque of 1000 kg cm. Check again the slide valve by moving the piston rod forward and backward. It should be moved smoothly. Step 2. Put some lubrication oil in the piston cylinder and install the copper washer. Step 3. Install first the piston o-ring, piston ring, and piston guide ring in the piston. Step 4. Fix the piston to piston gauge. Step 5. Install the piston with spring in the piston rod. Be careful not to drop the copper washer in the cylinder. Step 6. Install the bolt with washer and check the piston by pushing it to the end and it should be back to at least 75% of its original position. Assembly discharge cover plate. Step 1. Put some lubrication oil in the discharge bearing. 
Step 2. Install the discharge bearing fixed ring for male and female rotors. Step 3. Install the disc spring for male and female rotors. Step 4. Install the discharge cover plate with new gasket. Step 5. Put all hexagonal bolts and tighten it using a hexagonal wrench or torque wrench with a torque of 1000 kg cm. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe us at UA Technical Solutions.